Welcome back to It's a Tool Thing. Today with a little bit of tool talk and some updates. Uh, it's been kind of a rough day with the uh, broken bolt situations going on. I had a unit yesterday when pulling the transmission out. One of the flex plate bolts broke off. At least it was on the way out. Uh, the head snapped off flush. And I ended up fussing with that first this morning. Trying to get that thing out. Uh, I was actually fortunate it wouldn't back it wouldn't come out with an extractor but I was able to drill that thing out all the way to basically the thread the edge of the threads and collapse it in so I figured I'd give you a little update so this is that one that I broke here a while back I ground it down I actually ended up using it so if I can get it to get clear there I'm grinding that thing down. There it goes. Um, and I tried using this new snap-on, and it failed me. Uh, it would not fit. Now, granted, this was an eight millimeter, one two five fastener that was broken off, but that that tip was just a little bit thicker. I don't know if I can show that on camera or not, but it would not fit there you can kind of see that it would not fit in there um, I might actually see about buying another one it does kind of feel like it flares out just a little bit at the end back here it's the same width but no, I'm gonna check into that I know he had a couple other ones in that kit so I might pick up another one even though they were I don't know what it was 38 bucks or something stupid new off the truck so I didn't get a chance to use this but this one still managed to Get the pieces knocked out and I was able to salvage the threads and not have to helicoil it, which I actually thought I was going to end up having to helicoil that one because I had that thing drilled out big for an 8mm at least. Um, and then this here, and I forgot to grab the other piece for it with it. Um, this is a good tip. Putting in a replacement transmission, different truck, and the it's a rebuilt one. Uh, I didn't rebuild this one, uh, but they bought this one outright. And there's no room for the side mounts. So I went ahead and tapped out the holes. I'm glad I did because there was a lot of debris still in them. And, of course, they they painted. It's just kind of going fuzzy on me there. They painted the uh, the holes. And, I mean, there's not enough room. You really don't want to have to be wrenching those things in the hallway. And the other piece that I forgot to bring in was the half-inch T-handle that I purchased. I actually purchased two of them. But uh, it really did work well. I was able to roll it in with the T-handle with a little bit of effort and a little bit of lube, WD. And then use the quarter-inch ratchet with two micro-adapters. To get up to half inch to wheel them out but the quarter inch ratchet um milwaukee m12 would not uh, run it in but it would pull it out once i ran it in so that wasn't too bad um that's a good point you know you got to take your time and look at those things i always try to give the bolts an inspection bolt holes see if i see anything that needs to be repaired i actually have a shorter tap than this one this one's a 16 2.0 but I've had this is the one I've had for a long time. I ended up picking it up used somewhere, and obviously it wouldn't fit into a frame or anything. But um, most time I grab it just because I can tell which one it is. I don't have to look at the thing because it's like a three inches longer than any of the other taps. Um, and then right here at the end of the day, same truck. Uh, I got the side mounts on. What I what I was putting on what I call the three bolts, uh, basically the bolts that hold. The connection from the frame mounts to the transmission mounts and running the bolt in it's a grade 8 fastener here is a the original bolt that was in it and it didn't feel right it ran down I was giving it a few ugga duggas um, and I could feel it wince it didn't it didn't break free or anything at that point but as soon as I wanted to take that thing off it sheared off flush into the the lower block on the frame mount not ideal so it was the end of the day and I was I was actually 
cleaning it up and getting ready to change and decided, you know what? I put Loctite on that thing. I always Loctite all my fasteners, blue Loctite in this case. And I decided that I wanted to give it a shot, get this thing out now, and hopefully not have to deal with the Loctite slowing me down because it didn't feel like it cross-threaded or anything when I put it in. It just felt like it sh sheared off. And I was actually able to reach through the other mount on the transmission hole and drill this thing out and extract it pretty easy. Um, once I got it to start moving, which didn't take much, I was able to maneuver that mount around so the hole lined up perfect and unscrew it back out the way it came. In this case, the bolt would not go all the way through, so I couldn't push it through. Uh, there's no bottom to the hole. It's a through hole, but there's something, there's an obstruction in the way, I believe. And I don't think I would have had enough room to clear. So I was able to get that out today. Happy about that. Uh, a few minutes of my own time. Not a big deal. Uh, I decided to go ahead and try to tackle it because I didn't, I was hoping that if it would back out, the Loctite hadn't set yet and I'd be able to unscrew it, which fortunately I was. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Comment down below about the uh, day's triumphs with projects or failures. They can go both ways some days. And always, have a great day.